Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're reviewing Marvel Legends Retro Vision and Retro Loki, plus a kit bash. Let's get to it. So here's the box for the retro carded Vision. It looks really nice. I like this comic book stuff on the background. Here's a picture of Vision. Looks really cool. Nice shading right here, by the way. Looks a lot like the figure. Vision in green. It's pretty cool. And yellow and red, harkening back to his old colors. It's a good little tidbit. West Coast Avengers up here. He's part of that team, I believe. Marvel stuff on the top with a bunch of stars. On the back, we have the same picture of Vision as the front with a couple bio stuff. If you'd like to read it, here you go. All right, let's get this guy all unpacked and see if White Vision is better than the original Vision. If you want to cut these easily, just cut down the middle and then cut along the side edges here and here. And then you just get the figure, pull it all out. And there we have Vision. So here we have our retro carded Vision. I really like this guy a lot. The paint or lack thereof is fantastic. Let's go over that first. I love how this is all white. Very crisp, very clear. In the darkness, you, you get a little bit of shading on here. You know, it isn't really shading, but it's more just how the natural light works off the figure. And it looks fantastic to me. I like it a lot. The paint lines are really crisp and clear. Looks very good on his face, looks very nice. We have a little bit of Mind Stone, whatever this is over here. But the shadowing really works for in the figure's favor. The eyes are really done well. The paint down here is done super clean, really well, very nice. I'm very happy with it. As far as any accessories go, he comes with these two fists over here. They rotate on the up and down, sort of like a knock-knock kind of hinge. And they're really good, like the other Vision figure, but... I think I'm going to keep them with these. They look pretty cool. I don't want to see him punching people. I want to see him doing, like, you know, cool poses, like, you know, Shakespeare, or maybe even just, you know, this kind of, like, force lightning, whatever pose. But, yeah, they go around and up and down. So, to articulation, uh, he's not really hindered by this cape. The cape is actually a very pliable material. I like that a lot. It's better than the other figure capes we've had, you know, with this kind of cape. I wish it was a little wider, but whatever. I'm going to set this aside and do the articulation right away. Up, down, all the way around with the head. Very nice. The joints on the arms are fantastic. They feel new. They feel really new and very good. I like them a lot. You go all the way around, up and down. Swivel at the bicep. It's a little gummy over here, so be careful. It goes up this far. I already did the hand up and down. And you get the same with the other hand as well as these over here. The same kind of up and down joint. It's very self-explanatory. Down this far, back this far, swivel around. There's a hump where the seam is, so just be careful posing that. Goes out this far, up this far, very nice. Back and back with the leg. Looks really good. Not too not too not too good, I mean. <laughs> but it's still good as far as you know legs go. Swivel here at the top, swivel here at the calf, down and up with the foot ankle pivot no peg holes but we do get toes they look pretty cool I'm really you know it looks like an Adonis sculpture something kind of like you know a statue of David maybe or like you know a marble sculpture it's just so clean and crisp and well done I like this figure a lot it's really good and well worth you know at least replacing the other vision that you would have in your collection from 2015 so yeah, that's your White Vision. He is astonishing. White Vision stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. Here's White Vision next to the previous White Vision, and I'm getting rid of this figure immediately, basically. The leg broke after I took this picture. It should be popping up on screen right about now. I really like taking that picture a lot. It was really cool. I love all the colors in it. I changed a little bit of the stuff in editing. It looked great. I put the figure back on the shelf and the leg just snapped on me and I had to glue it back. It's okay at best, but I'm glad I have a replacement figure now and this can just go in the trash. But I think I might keep the body away in the trash. <laughs> I mean, throw that away and then keep the cape and keep the head. They are both useful. Even though they don't really fit too well, they, they work. I like this silver thing on top more than this. The cape actually looks really nice on him. Taking this off and putting this on, it adds a little more ethereal look to him. He looks kind of spooky in a way. I love this a lot. And I might just keep this as my main. The only issue is this little dot right here on the bottom, but that is 
a okay with me. I'm fine with that. Yeah, v vision is great. I can upgrade him. I can change the cape. I can do whatever I want. This is a little pliable, not too much. So I just probably got to be careful. But yeah, this body is going to go to some kind of custom for somebody else. Here's vision next to two other visions from 2015 over here, and we have 2018 over here from the Hulkbuster and Retro Carded Waves. They're both really good. I like them a lot, can't complain. I like this one a little bit over this one, but I think this body could have been used for this figure. I just wish it was. A little better, you know, sculpt articulation, etc. You know, you get those butterfly joints in there. Also, a little bit of shiny would have been great for this guy. You know, he looks a little too matte and too plain, aside from the little tiny stone mark on his head. But I think that this is a nice, you know, way to add more things to your Avengers collection. So yeah, this Vision is really good, as are these two. I can't complain at all. Here's retro carded White Vision next to the Scarlet Witch from the three-pack with Magneto and Quicksilver. I think they look great together, actually. I can't wait to get the new retro Scarlet Witch probably soon. Not sure if we're going to swap it out for this one or not, but hey, Scarlet Witch is great. I like that costume, too. Oh, also, here's Jesse Heck Creative. Alas, dear Vision, I knew him well. Alas, dear Vision, I knew him well. Alas, dear Vision, I knew him well. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So here's Loki. I really like this figure a lot. The vibrant colors are beautiful. We have a little bit of sort of yellowy gold, more yellowy yellow, yellowy yellow, a little bit of yellowy gold up here. It's very nice. I like it so much. I like this really cool sort of braided sort of ponytail thing he's got going. It isn't how I really see Loki. I see him more with black hair because of thanks MCU, but he was blonde back in the comics, uh, if you believe it or not. This is a really nice figure. I didn't review it back when it came out in 2018? 2019? I forget. Whenever Infinity War came out. That was the wave he was in. That was a good figure. This is another really good figure. I love how they updated the face. Looks very nice. This mischievous kind of grin here. Looks really good. Really, really good. Get some good light on that. Looks very nice. I love how they did the teeth, the eyes, the eyebrows especially you know that mischievous kind of grin reminds me a little bit of Tommy Wiseau in a way sort of kind of ish but yeah this is a very good figure I really like how they updated him he looks really great just awesome he comes with little Drax knives they look good same as usual you know black handles silver oh I think different silver and the other kind you know a little more shinier a little brighter maybe I'll give these to Drax who knows they have this nice little cape that's a little floaty, but it's also, you know, sturdy enough to stay on all the way. So, I've been, like, griping over the figure and grousing over it, at least not griping, but here's a gripe. This goes up and down and won't stay on that well. I mean, it kind of stays on okay, but when you're moving the figure around and stuff, you have to repose it, change it, fix it. So, yeah, and also the horns on my Lady Loki came off. It's not really complained about this figure. Just watch out for the horns. They're very kind of delicate in a way. So, articulation. Around, up, down, not hindered by the ponytail. That's great. This thing moves yay, I guess. So, the body. Here's another gripe. You have to push down and then in. And then over, at least. Push down and then rotate it a little bit. You don't want to have it crunch into the arm because that's when it starts to, you know, get all crunchy. It isn't really crunchy yet, but it will be if I make a mistake <laughs> and forget about this body mold. Down and then up a little bit. It's better on this arm than that arm. I wish they would retire this body mold and give something better. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. Also, the knives are really bendy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take them out. They're pretty good knives, though. Good sculpt on them. I really like them a lot. Twist of the arm over here. Goes up this far. Down this far. The arm can go up, and I don't want it to go all the way around, though. Can go up a little bit on both. Crunch. Crunch. Swivel here. Civil here, up and down, motion over here. The only hands we get, hand holding, holding hands, hand holding, holding, <laughs> I, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're holding hands because they hold things like these. These are easy to slip in, by the way, and they're pretty nice. You know, this little, like, you know, thing goes around the thumb. Yeah, you've seen that knife before. Out, pretty far, better than vision. Goes up this far, not, not too bad, it kind of auto splits. Oh, wow, this goes pretty far up. 
Nice. Goes back. Not not really at all. That's kind of a shame. I like how this kind of like leads to the whole middle section. That's pretty neat, you know. Loki butt for those Loki fans out there. Out pretty far. Swivel around. Goes up pretty well. Goes down. Swivel with the boot cuff. Down. Up. Pivot. Peg holds the bottom of the feet and the little barcode thing. I'm glad they're doing that at the bottom of the feet. That's it's really good. It's, why did they not do that back when they started the line? It's so dumb. Yeah, the printers have gotten better, I think. Overall, great figure, but it can be better. With some glorious purpose. So I did this kit bash a long time ago, and I did it with this. Don't want to kill my lights. This head right here from the other from this Loki. I really hate this head. It is horrible. It looks so cheesy, so bad. I'm glad they updated the paint at least. The eyes look so goofy and weird. I just hate them a lot. They're really just crapping my style in a major way. It's really toothy grin, really terrible. These are way too sp spread out. They really hit the nail on the head when it comes to this is red stuff on top of here. I'm bleeding, am I? Okay, that's weird. There's no red in the figure. Whatever. Uh, I made this guy. This is the Richard E. Grant Loki from the Loki TV series. And I think if you want to keep your old Loki body, get rid of this head and put the... This is the alternate head from this, bo whoop, from this body, by the way. This is, a, this is great. This looks really, really, really cool. I love this a lot. The cape gives it a little bit of panache. This is from the Polaris figure. And this sword originally came with Loki. And I got two Lokis because I wanted two swords. And I sold the whole body of the other one. Where did I put that sword? So now, if I want, they can have the same equipment outset. You just slide the sword into the hand. And it'll probably open a tiny bit. There's a sword. And there's a dagger right here. That's one. Then we have our sword in this hand. And our dagger in the other. And that's two. And this is great. Yeah, I'm really loving this so much. Same articulation, by the way, different color scheme. That's that's basically it. Shorter horns, longer horns. You know, Loki gets a little more modest in his old age, I believe. But yeah, that's Loki for you. It's a really nice figure if you want a Loki. I recommend doing the cape thing, keeping the old figure. And this is a situation where you don't trash the old figure. You keep it and use the alternate head. I think that's what alternate heads are for. These two look really good together and kind of demented, and I love them a lot. The double sword thing works well too. You know, I hate this head. This is the only thing that's going to probably go bye-bye. And also, getting it off and on, the heads are really tough, but if you have a little pressure, I don't think you need heat, you just need to be lucky with it, and it will work really well. But yeah, these Lokis are just awesome. Give me a give me a Gator Loki, give me a Kid Loki, give me different Lokis, because the Loki-verse is going to be awesome, different versions of Loki. But yeah, glorious purpose all around for Hasbro, they did a fantastic job with these figures, except for this head, you know, but yeah. Loki's great. I like him a lot. Both Lokis standing around six and a half inches tall. Here's both Lokis next to the Return of Marvel Legends Thor with kit bash legs, and I highly recommend using the legs from Odinson to fix this one. It gives it ankle pivot, which is great. I love this Thor a lot. He's better than the one that came out in 2015. Better paint apps, and I think he's just awesome. These two Lokis complement him pretty well. They look great. I'm really excited that the Thor verse place land thing Odin something is really fleshing out in Marvel Legends yeah I'm just super happy that these all worked well together they're great this is my Loki from now on this is my old Loki from now on thanks Loki TV series for giving us these Lokis and here they are with Jesse Heck Creative you're a Loki you're a Loki I'm a Loki yay how do I fix this overall I find both of these figures great Vision is more of an upgrade than Loki is, yet it's a really great figure that just destroys the original. It's awesome and looks really nice. The articulation and the cave is updated. 
as well as the face and basically everything. It's a complete upgrade and you should get it if you want to get a better white vision than the one you already may have. Loki, on the other hand, is more of a side grade. It's an upgrade to a previous figure as well as an upgrade to the head you may already have. It's a great figure to get and you can have old Loki and young Loki in the same shot. They look great together and I'm proud of myself to have come up with this. The cape looks wonderful on the old Loki along with the dark green colors and the younger Loki looks better in light green colors anyways. The gold complements it well and just ties it all well together and the swords are really cool too along with the daggers. They're both great figures to get. You should grab Loki and Vision wherever and whenever you can. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.